What's up everyone, welcome to Best Car Reviews. I'm Ben and today we'll be dissecting the 2024 BMW X5. Here at Best Car Reviews, I strive to bring the most accurate and relevant information in under 10 minutes. There's no misleading and no wasted time. If that's something that's intriguing to you, then please like and subscribe so I can continue to grow the channel. Let's get started. I'm sure we're all familiar with the BMW X5. They're super slick looking. SUV always has a great design and is very popular in areas where there's a little more money. Um, you know, coming into 2024, they've really done well, still advancing a modern look while keeping that classic uh, design we're all familiar with. Uh, that's so true to BMW. And if you're loving the design, then stay tuned because today we're going to go through all the trims and details that matter most to you to determine which will be the best bang for your buck. All photos and information in today's video come direct from BMW. Let's dive in. There will be five different trims available on the X5 in 2024. I'm sure if you guys know about BMW, you know they seem to have like a trillion trims with some crazy names that are just impossible to understand. So let's try to break this down in a not very confusing way. So we have the S Drive 40i, X Drive 40i, X Drive 50e, M60i, and M Competition. That lowest price will be the S Drive 40i, very similar to the X Drive 40i, and those are both in the mid upper 60,000s. Rounding all the way out at the top, that M Competition is going to start you off at over $120,000. So we have quite a range in here of price between these five trims. So hopefully if this is the vehicle you are in the market for, there is a configuration here that falls within your price point and you know the appeal, the design that you want. We have some different engine options here. The S-Drive 40i and X-Drive 40i will come with a 3 liter turbocharged inline 6 giving you 375 horsepower and 398 pound-feet of torque. The X-Drive 50e has a, the same 3 liter turbocharged inline 6 but also has one electric motor that adds to the horsepower numbers giving you 483 horsepower. The M60i has a 4.4 liter twin turbo V8 with a 48 volt mild hybrid technology giving you 523 horsepower and if you think that's a lot the M competition has that same setup but a little different giving you even more power 617 horsepower 553 pound-feet of torque that's some numbers you want for $120,000 any engine options paired with an 8-speed sport automatic transmission all available in the performance all-wheel drive from BMW except for the S Drive 40i that comes with rear wheel drive. Looking at MPGs, uh, you have 23 in the city, 27 highway estimated for those bottom two trims with just the three liter turbo inline six and estimated on the big V8s, 17 in the city, 22 on the highway. We'll take a look now at the pictures that have been released by BMW of this 2024 X5 while we talk about some of the features. Like I said, this is the classic BMW looks and still increasingly modern. Exceptional design and all the details too. I've always loved their head and taillight details and honestly, I think the new kidney grille design looks awesome. I know that has many mixed opinions though. The lineup offers exceptional performance. The base trim S or base trims S40i and X Drive 40i give impressive features and performance despite being the lower trims. Some of these include air curtains, active kidney grille, electronic throttle control, brake energy regeneration, three drive modes, dynamic damper control, a double wishbone front suspension, and light weight multi-link integral rear suspension. That was a mouthful. And you know, this gives you a lot of capability and all that for the more affordable price still. Affordable. I say that sparingly, this is still well over $60,000, but you know what I mean. Going the M route gives you the beastly potential. And this has, for 2024, all new CFRP paddle shifters, adaptive M suspension, six piston M brakes, which I'd have to look into this more, but I'm pretty certain that's Brembo. And as we all know, you know, they're the best you can do. Uh, with ventilated and cross drilled rotors, which are the size of just giant New York pizzas. They're huge. 0 to 60 in as little as 3.7 seconds if you go after that competition. Specific roof spoiler for aerodynamics, upgraded interior, the nicest interior, I should say, and obviously 
the most killer looks. Buying an M trim guarantees you'll cook the Audi or Porsche next to you at the stoplight. The biggest downside to the performance trims like this is the cost to get it though. It is a beautifully crafted and capable vehicle but out of reach for most. The best bang for your buck in the X5 lineup in my opinion will be the xDrive 40i. It's always a good to, idea to start one above the bottom at least, especially when the prices are as close as these two are. Uh, I say that for the bottom two trims because you most likely get extra features most of the time. In this case you do, although it's not much, but it is a little more. We'll take a look now at some of the interior shots released by BMW while we go over those features. Obviously, a stunning interior can be assumed, and this confirms it, because this is a BMW and this is a very expensive model. But despite the high prices, the best looks and quality still require you to spend the most money to get them, but the lower trims aren't a disappointment at all. The X5 has third row capability, but it's said to be most comfortable for kids given the amount of space back there. However, the first two rows are very spacious. Features such as power adjustable front seats with memory for the driver are standard. All, mode, all models come with a power adjustable steering column, heated front seats, a panoramic sunroof, dual zone automatic climate control, a power rear lift gate, rain sensing windshield wipers, and customizable ambient lighting. Features such as massaging seats, remote start, soft closed doors, acoustic glass, a leather dashboard, Heated front armrests and heated steering wheel are available as well. And looking at this right away, you can tell the screen is massive. This is a 12.3 inch digital gauge area to give you all the information in a clear way and a monstrous 14.9 inch infotainment screen, both next to each other, both under the same pane of glass. It looks stunning. It looks great. Uh, I'm a sucker for you know, the big infotainment screens that look nice. They're not just like an ugly square kind of sitting on your on your vehicle's dash. You know, this actually looks very slick, very well done. Uh, and the M now comes standard with a curved display. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto are standard. Uh, BMW gives you basic safety drivers, assist, and technology features, um, but more advanced can be optioned in. Overall, Great interior no matter which one you buy. You can't go wrong here. Um, you're starting off great. And yes, if you opt for the most expensive trims, you'll get even better. But you're already starting off great. So there's no settling if you end up getting with the lower trim. In review, guys, absolutely sick model from BMW. Uh, every year they seem to put out a little different of a design, uh, a little more performance, a little more stuff to make you go I want that car and they're certainly doing here with the 2024 X5 uh, it's always been a great design for them it's always sold very well I spent some time in Greenwich Connecticut and it seemed like these things were everywhere it's like every other vehicle was a BMW SUV specifically the X5 um, you know they sell like crazy um, just in very specific areas because they're very expensive um, so in the end, this is the, the vehicle that you're looking at. This is the one that you, that's caught your eye. Uh, and there's a lot like this. There's some good competition for it. But it's hard to beat BMW. We know their reliability. We know that they can get the business done. Um, so if this is what you're looking for, then you can't go wrong. And you do have trims that offer the looks and a decent engine option and some speed for a more obtainable price in those lower trims. You know, spending mid $60,000 on a well-performing BMW three-row SUV, that's not that bad. So you can get that. Uh, but in the end, like I said, you can't go wrong no matter what you get. Uh, hopefully this video laid things out in the clear way for you guys. Thank you for watching this best car review. Please subscribe if you're not already. And if you have an idea for a video for me to do for you, drop it in the comments and I'll see what I can do. And I'll catch you on the next best car review.